Hey folks, this is Gabe Security Bear, and today I'm gonna to unbox some smart thermostats. Today we're gonna to be unboxing the Honeywell T9, the Echobee Light, and the Luxcono Smart Thermostats. Let me see a list of our favorite smart thermostats, Google, Security Baron, best smart thermostats. If you have a question about today's unboxings, leave us a comment and I'll get back to you. Let's kick off today by unboxing the Honeywell T9 Smart Thermostat. So Honeywell makes a host of devices. Uh, really, really looking forward to seeing how well the smart thermostat uh, slides in there. So we've got our installation guide. Oh, it's our compliance statement. Then we have the actual ooh, device here. We've got the plate. We have some screws and wall anchors. And then we have a different C-wire adapter. Make sure there's nothing left. I think that's it. Take out our C-wire adapter. Voila. We're going to toss this box out of the way of our Demistato Inteligente T9. Put it over here. And here we are. These are the pieces that we need to set up our device. So you see here, this is a pretty basic aesthetic. Uh, you've got your white with a little bit of a gray, it seems, uh, directly around the LED screen. And this LED screen does distinguish itself a bit because it seems to be more of a portrait instead of a landscape, which you'll see with a lot of the um, smart thermostats out on the market. So I'm really anxious to see what the installation process is like um, for setting this up because this is, for example, something I've not seen before. I wonder how that actually is going to integrate uh, into my home's thermostat uh, system, but it should be you know, a pretty fun process of going about uh, seeing how this works and seeing what all it is capable of. So that's our look at the Honeywell Home T9 Smart Thermostat. Next, we have the Echobee 3 Lite. So let's go ahead and take it out. There we go. There's an actual B right here, by the way. You can't see it because it's very dark, but there's an actual B on the cover, which I like. Echobee's really taking it. And here is the actual device. Uh, also, actually, I'm looking at it, it is a bit of a portrait. You can't really see the screen, but the screen is about from here. So this is nothing. This is nothing, but all of this is kind of a portrait screen. I'm anxious to see how clear that looks, how good it looks. Let's put this here for a second, get the rest of the things out of the box. So the first thing they point out is that they can help you find a pro. Nous pouvons vous aider à trouver un professionnel. So it lets you know in English and French uh, for the Quebecois uh, of, of you out there uh, that before you decide to install this, uh, they've got you down. Who's AD? All right. Then you have this starter guide, which is actually pretty interesting because it's numbered. I've uh, set up a couple of Echobees before, um, so I actually really appreciated this guide. It actually was one of the better guides that I've used when putting together any type of smart home device. Uh, then they have your labels. Because uh, when you're doing this, uh, it's not a complicated or difficult process, but it is one where you need to make sure you know what each particular wire um, is in your home. And of course you wanna generally have them uh, you know, turned off. <laughs> then more parts to setting up. Here you are with more rear wires. So this is how you know, um, you know which, where to put what. Uh, They're basically color coded, um, red, green, yellows, whites, and some screws and anchors. Let's get rid of these boxes. And voila, here we go. Um, we've got the various elements to help set it up. The LED display, which after you set all this up, this will be the only thing visible to you. And remember with Ecobee, they also come with room sensors that you can um, buy to essentially help you make sure that each room has the proper temperature uh, to save you on those energy costs. I'm really excited to see how well the Ecobee 3 Lite works to help save me money and keep my home at the exact temperature that I need. Last but not least, we're going to unbox the Kono by Lux. So let's go ahead and check this out. Personalized comfort decor savings. All right. 
I like the look of this. This is new. Very, very small LED, I'll point out um, right here from the get-go I noticed, but a nice little knob. So let me just see how that works. Then we've got, okay, I took that apart, but there we go. More pieces to our Lux system. Uh, our plate, screws and anchors, and finally our manual. So this is actually to help us uh, with our labeling our various wires. This is something you wanna do uh, whenever you're putting together a new thermostat, in case you decide to switch it, you don't like it, you wanna send it back, uh, you go ahead and go through that process. It'll facilitate putting it back for your old thermostat or a new one, uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, I'm actually a pretty big fan of this like slate gray plate, or not slate gray, metal gun metal. That's what I'm looking for, gun metal plate. Uh, you got gun metal here on the side of the Kona and black. Now one thing I wanna point out, um, we don't have it right now, but we actually ordered uh, a different plate for the Kona. You can basically buy a lot of different colors, have your Kona uh, really customized, which is something we haven't seen uh, with any other thermostat, so that's pretty cool. Now you can kind of customize your Kono. If you have a particular decor, uh, you know, if you've got something going on, you can change it up and you can have it blend in. Now I'll say that the Lux Kono is one of the bigger thermostats that I've seen. Uh, it does have this knob um, and I'm okay with it. Typically I like things to be kind of flush, but you know, this is just a different thing. It's a little more retro. Uh, it's like as if the Jetsons had a smart thermostat. Uh, it's a little mid-century-esque. Um, and that's kind of cool. So I'm anxious to see how it fits into my home's aesthetics and just to see how well it works. Uh, I noticed when I was opening it up that there was Apple HomeKit codes. So I'm really uh, anxious to see uh, how it kind of integrates into various smart platforms. This is our unboxing of the Lux Kona. All right, there you have it, three unboxings. The Honeywell Home Smart T9 thermostat, the Echo B3 Lite, and the Lux Kono. If you appreciated today's video, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe Security Baron. Be secure.